Hello and welcome guys. Today we will understand about the different message types which are available in the category 1. We have already understood about the different 15,022 swift empty messages categories that starts from category 1 to category 9 and then followed by the category N that is common group messages. Now uh, we will understand the empty uh, one series messages. The important empty one series are probably all of the empty one uh, series messages. So without wasting your time, let's get started with it. So in this video, I'm going to just list down all the empty one series messages which are there in the swift payments and which banks use and i'll also have a brief description or probably i'll just give the message name of it so let's get started message type So the first message in MT1 series comes is MT101. Now what is MT101? Right? MT101 is the request for transfer. Request for transfer. Alright. So this is MT101. The next one which comes in empty series is MT102. Now this is very important one uh, for message type MT1 series perspective. That is, it is a multiple customer credit transfer message. Multiple customer credit transfer. Next one is now again uh, a subtype of it, you know, uh, it, it, it can be MT102 or the STP straight through processing, right? Which I'll, I'll explain about this MT, uh, sorry, uh, STP and the remit types later on. But uh, in MT102, we have MT102 normal and MT102 STP. Now, but I, I, ideally it is multiple customer credit transfer itself so next one is MT103 right so MT103 again has uh, STP and Remy So this is single customer credit transfer. This is a single customer credit transfer message and it has types uh, STP and dot remit. The difference between the STP and the remit again I have already mentioned in the different video or I'll just explain when I'll uh, give you a difference between the STP and the remit of MT1 in, in some other videos. The next one is MT104. Now, what is MT104? Now, MT104 is direct debit and request for the direct debit transfer. Direct debit or request 
This is empty module four. Next one is empty one zero five. So empty one zero five is uh, a defect envelope is what we call right defect envelope. I'll explain about this in later videos the next one is there isn't any mt106 we have mt107 messages mt107 message is general direct debit messages this is general direct debit message next one is uh, MT110 there isn't MT108 or MT109 directly we have MT110 and MT110 is advice of check next one is MT111 what is MT triple one? It is request for stock payment of check. Request for stock payment of check. Then we have MT112. MT112 is status of a request for stop payment of check. Basically, the request of MT, I mean, status of MT211. Status of request for stop. payment of check okay. this is uh, MT112 and uh, another important and very important message is message type and description Another one is MT190. MT190. Now we are quite aware of MT190 because it has been used for advice of check, sorry, advice of charge, interest, and other adjustment. interest or other adjustments this is mt190 next one is mt191 now mt191 is quite used in, in banking uh, field where it means request for payment of charges it is request pay or for payment of interest charges or other expenses or other adjustments right so only when MD191 is Sent. basically 190 will be already sent by the banks 
in order to get the charge from another bank but if they're not getting then they will again send this MT191 where they will uh, request for the payment of the interest charges or the other expenses for the original payment then we have MT192 now MT192 is request for the cancellation for the payment After MT192, we have MT195, 